Welcome. Today we are going to learn about the five fields of social studies. You are also going to create a foldable and have it in your book. The foldable will become useful when you're reviewing for your tests and quizzes, as well as class discussions. Your essential question that was part of your unit overview is what are the five fields of social studies? And also, a question that I pose is how are the five fields of social studies like an umbrella? You'll understand both of these questions by the end of the presentation. But first, let's talk about your foldable. By now, you should have received a piece of paper that looks like this. Okay? You will also should have received a desk copy of the directions to cut out on the outside of the foldable. When I mean the outside, I meant the whole outside. Okay? This whole area on the outside. Step two said fold the line. Okay? Right here is the fold line. You do not cut this line. You're going to then cut each strip. If you'll notice here on mine, I kind of created a color coding system that even on the inside, it's hard to see over here, but I drew the lines to kind of divide my information up. Okay? So you're going to cut each strip. Please stop right here. Do not cut beyond that. Okay. Of course, pause the video as you're, reco as you're doing the cutting and ready for the next steps. Okay, here we go. You are going to finish watching the presentation. Oh, I forgot to get you guys to glue it in, which should already be done. And you're going to only glue the title side down as it shows here because the inside strips now become flaps. All right. As you're watching the presentation, you're going to fill in what each letter means. You're going to also draw on the front side some examples. And then you're going to give me a definitions on the inside flap here. And then you're going to write a list of examples of each of these fields in your life or that you know about. Okay, let's go back to the presentation. Social studies. This is a Prezi. Yes, you have a link to the Prezi. You don't have to watch the video again to get the information again. The five fields of social studies are culture, history, economics or economy, government, and geography. Please make sure in your book you wrote government first and then geography. I'll explain why later. Altogether, that spells the word CHEG. So if I asked you a bell ringer question, what is the five fields of social studies? You should pop up and say CHEG, culture, history, economic, geography, government. Oops, I made the mistake, didn't I? Okay, let's go on. What is social studies? Well, as I talked about, we're going to look at culture first. Culture. Here's the definition you're going to write on the inside flap, which is a shared ways of living among groups, including beliefs and customs. Now, the important word from this definition is a, to have a culture, it must be shared. If you do not share your beliefs 
or your customs with others people you're not don't you do not have a culture so the key word here is shared underline that word please here is an image of a unique culture holland's wooden shoes Here is another image of culture, the way people dress. I don't know too many guys that love to sport some of these leggings and check out that skirt. Okay? This is a culture. Here is another image of culture. Religion, traditions, beliefs. Food is culture. What you drink, which I love this because you see Coca-Cola back here, and you can definitely tell this is not because of the people in the background, the food, the bowls, the everything involved with it reminds you that it's not located in the United States, yet you do have a Coca-Cola can here. Two cultures. So that was just the thread of culture. Well, let's look at history now. History, which is a record of the past, usually chronological. Please, underline the word past. That is your key word for remembering what is history. And the word chronological means in order of time. So it separates your words and you can figure it out. So history. Here is a record of the past. This is the Aztec Codex. This is their record of what they did, where they traveled, what they were doing. They were communicating, talking. Okay, religious numbers. Okay, is a record of their past. Here is also an image that we can associate with history. We don't see too many knights roaming around our streets anymore. At one point in time, that would be a common sight. Another image of history. This image represents, yes, geography. Oh, interesting. But it also represents history. One, it's in black and white. Two, look at the style of clothing. I don't see too many ladies dressed this way and traveling to Egypt. Okay? And, of course, you have history of women, historical images of women throughout the women's rights. These are people who had an important role in our history. And another image of history. President Lincoln. But isn't a president part of G- of government? Yes, it is. So as I was talking about your history... We also talked about how geography was present with that picture. Government with the president picture. We also saw um, some economics or economy with people traveling to Egypt. We saw government with the women's liberation images. And all of that was a cultural element. So let's talk about economics. How, what is economics? Well, economics or economy is how people make, get, and use resources to live. The economy key word is resources. 
if you don't have resources to trade or buy or sell, you don't have an economy. But it doesn't have to be money. It could be goods. It could be services. So that's why resources is your key word to underline here. Here is an image of a re- ec- economics image, a resource, the lemonade stand. Where on a hot day, people want a cool drink. Well, the little kid wants to sell and make money. So they have the resource of and the need of wanting money. So they provide the service for people to have a relaxing, cool drink. Resources. Here's another image of resources. The person, the lady here, has made and gathered product to sell to pass their buyers. This is probably in... India or other Asian countries around that area based off of the clothing style that you see in the image here. But she is providing a service and therefore making money to take back with her family. By the way, this is a store in many countries. So... Economics or economy is all about money. Well, money, money, money. Yes, I always associate it with the dollar sign because that's what economic studies is, the use of the resource. So when we were talking about resources, you also noticed we had other things, such as government involved. Well, government, it is how societies make laws and enforce them. The key word here is laws. The government establishes the laws. So that's the word you're underlying for your key word. The president in the White House form of government, the three branches of our government is a form of, well, government. Each one had its its laws it has to do and how each law gets approved or not approved. And more importantly, how they are enforced. Monarchy, where a king or a queen is in control of the government. Tribal government. Yes, this is a form of government. So, if government is to how they make and enforce laws, Back in the economics bubble, wouldn't the selling of a product like lemonade stand be a governmental issue as well? Well, yes, because you have to pay taxes. Government enforces the taxes. Huh. So I might be talking in one strand, but yet others appear. Let's talk about the last one, geography, the last field of social studies. Now, geography is going to become one that we're going to focus more in depth throughout the year. So geography is a study of the people, places, and environment. The way I remember the geography definition is you have to have the PPE to have geography. So repeat it after me. If you don't have the P, P, E, 
you don't have geography. So study of people, places, and environment makes geography. All right, let's look at some examples. By the way, you should have underlined the P here, the P here, and the E there. Well, there are actually five themes of geography. So on the inside of your flap, make sure you leave enough room to write these five down. You could put them numbered. Sorry. You could do a number, three, four, five, or bullets, however you choose. We are going to see these five again later. First one, movement, region, human environmental interaction. That is one theme, human environmental interaction. Then you have location and place. So when we're studying the PPE, we're looking at these five Themes. So some images of geography is movement, the people move using camels, region, well this is a desert region, human environmental interaction, well, they are camping in this part of the, the picture because there is some trees and vegetation. So there's more likely a chance of finding water. Whereas in the background, you can see there is no vegetation. And so the humans are not going to interact there. Another way of surviving in a desert would be they'd have to bring in water. Location. Where in the world would this picture be taken? Well, we see a lot of desert and camels. That's two clues that were probably over in Egypt. And, of course, place. What can we locate? What is special about that place? To me, this is just an image of a desert, yet you could tell it's a vast desert based on the picture. So that's one example of the PPE, Study of People, Places, and Environment. Here we see an image of a very special place, okay, which is located in the, fill it in the blank, we adapted the environment by carving the faces in the stones. Form of movement, well, it brings local or touristic people to the rocks at a major time. And Region, well, you can tell it's in the mountains because we don't see major mountain rocks all over the place. And finally, as you'll notice, these four images should be up in your classroom with giving you more examples of each of the Five themes of geography, which we will get to next. But the themes help us discover and study the people, the places, and the environment. Okay? And of course, in geography, you have to know the directions you're going. So, social studies. The five fields of social studies. 
What are they? Well, now you should be able to answer that question. Chegg. Culture, history, economics, government, and geography. Well, the second question up here was, how are the five fields of socialism like an umbrella? Here's my example. When it rains, does the water stay in just one area, or does it splatter and touch many different areas? When you are in the rain, it does not just get one section wet. It splatters over into other fields or other sections of your umbrella. All together, this makes social studies. But individually, they focus and specialize on different parts of social studies. So as we saw in pictures, something might be in culture, but you could also find it within geography. Something in history might connect with government. And they can be part of all Five. So the five fields of social studies are culture, history, economics, government, and geography. Or check.